Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all, my dear students? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. As you know, I'm your teacher, Khushbu Miss, and my dear students, we have completed reading of lesson number four, the dolphin and the shark. So, I told you this thought before. Also, today is always the best day. Means whatever your stance, new. Don't wait for the tomorrow. Start it. today only so we have completed reading of lesson number 4 and today i will start explanation of lesson number 4 the dolphin and the shark so let's begin let me show you images again this is the image of a dolphin this is the image of a dolphin this is the image of a shark this is the image of a shark This is the image of crocodile and alligator. Image of crocodile and alligator. This is the image of frog. This is the image of raccoon. So let's begin. This is the story about a shark and a dolphin, and about the magical experience that they have one day. Was it real? Read and. find out as before i told you the short story of the lesson so let's begin with explanation once upon a time once upon a time there lived a shark named simon a shark named simon and a dolphin named dudley and a dolphin named dudley So what is the name of the shark the name of the shark is Simon and the name of the dolphin is Dudley Simon shark Dudley dolphin okay they lived in the ocean where they lived they lived in the ocean where they lived they lived in the ocean not too far from a beautiful sandy beach means they were living nearby a beautiful sandy beach a tall lighthouse a tall lighthouse let's see what is the meaning of lighthouse lighthouse means a tower with a flashing light at the top of top to guide ships and you must have seen the lighthouse if you went on a beach and a dark murky swamp and a dark murky swamp now let's see what is murky murky means dark and dirty swamp means soft and wet land like the land near the seashore were there on the beach so once upon a time there lived a shark named simon and a dolphin named dudley they lived in the ocean not too far from a beautiful sandy beach a tall lighthouse and a dark murky swamp were there on the beach so the first paragraph says us that shark whose name was simon and dolphin whose name was dudley they both were living in the beautiful ocean now let's see the next paragraph now simon and dudley knew each other simon and dudley knew each other they both were knew each knew each other like you are when you are living with your neighbor right so you both knew each other but they weren't the best of friends they were not the best friends they were enemies dudley had two sisters and they played together and took care of each other how many sisters were two dudley had two sisters and they played together and took care of each other they were very happy in the cool blue water they were very happy in the cool blue water who were very happy dudley and his two 
sisters they were very happy in the cool blue water let's see what happens but simon swam alone simon was always swim alone he had no brothers or sisters he had no brothers or sisters and no one to play with and no one to play with this made him grumpy grumpy means unhappy simon was playing alone nobody was there to play with him so this made him grumpy grumpy means unhappy or a person who complains a lot and so he would spend his days swimming lazily feeling sorry for himself sorry means here sad simon was feeling sad for himself that he is alone and just being mean mean means selfish here selfish simon's favorite hobby was to attack judly and his sisters now simon was alone he is not having any brother or sisters to play with him so simon's favorite hobby was to attack judly and his sisters means for the whole day simon was passing his time by attacking on judly and his sisters he would dive deep in the water lurking near the bottom lurking means hide to attack and then when he saw the dolphins playing near the surface he would swim as hard as he could means as fast as he could towards them and try to bite their tails shark simon the shark was hiding to attack the dolphins hiding to attack means lurking so the simon the shark was hiding to attack the dolphins to attack the dudley the dolphins and his sisters why to bite their tails but the dolphins always saw him coming but the dolphins always saw him coming and they would come up out of the water dolphins come out from the water stand on their tails and whistle and giggle means they were enjoying that simon could not catch them like for example if your younger brother or younger sister wants to beat you wants to catch you and they can't reach till you so what you will do you will dancing you will enjoy yourself right so same like here dolphins and the sisters were whistle and giggle they always managed to keep just out of reach of simon's big sharp teeth as i have seen i have shown you a picture i have showed you a picture that sharks are having a sharp teeth big teeth so judly the dolphin and his sisters always manage to keep just out of reach of simon's big sharp teeth so i don't think simon really wanted to catch them do you what do you think tell me my dear students what do you think Simon really wants to catch Judy and his sisters no because if he caught them and ate them he wouldn't have any fun anymore if simon the shark catch the dudley the dolphins if simon catch the dudley and his sisters and ate them then he wouldn't have any fun why because Simon will be all alone but you never know about sharks so judly and his sisters were always on the lookout for simon the grump judly and his sisters were always on the lookout for simon the grump grump means a person who complains a lot grump means a person who complains a lot so simon was complaining a lot one day while judly was swimming by himself 
One day, while Judley was swimming by himself, and Simon was chasing him, and Simon was chasing him, they got very close to the shore. They got very close. They come very near to the shore. Judley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him. Judley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him. Now Simon and Judley both were together. So let's see what happened when they both were together. And they both saw something very strange on the beach. And they both saw something very strange on the beach. There leading out of the swamp, there leading out of the swamp, swamp means a wet land, were strange tracks in the sand. Here you can see a strange footprint. It is given in your textbook only. Judley stopped swimming and Simon stopped chasing. Chasing means to go behind someone. Judley stopped swimming and Simon stopped chasing. Now let's see what happens. They had never seen marks like that before. These types of marks you can see here, which is already given in your English textbook. So I am showing you a pictures. They had never seen marks like that before. I wonder if it was a duck-billed platypus, said Dudley. Now Dudley is saying that this is the footprints, these are the foot marks of the duck-billed platypus. Duck-billed platypus is a name of a sea creature, which is only imagination, not a real one. Okay? I don't think so, replied Simon. Now Simon is saying that it is not duck-billed platypus. Replied Simon, I will bet it was a red-breasted, hairy-headed knee walker. Now Simon is saying the another name of a sea creature, which is only imagination, not a real one. It was a red-breasted, hairy-headed knee walker. Dudley the dolphin is saying that these footprints, which is which you can see here is the footprints of duck-billed platypus and Simon is saying that these footprints are of red-breasted hairy-headed knee walker. So the duck-billed platypus and the red-breasted hairy-headed knee walker both are only imagination not actual animals. Okay. Let's see the next paragraph. But since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often, but since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often, they kept on wondering. They thought maybe it had been a big bellied wicked cobbler. Now they both are thinking together the same thing that maybe. This is not a duck-billed platypus, this is not a red-breasted hairy-headed knee walker, but maybe, maybe these footprints are of big-bellied wicked gobbler or perhaps a hooty snooty crawler. Which animals? Big-bellied wicked gobbler or a hooty snooty crawler. Okay, so these are also imagination only, not the real animal names. Okay. But they just weren't sure what had made those funny large footprints. But Dudley the dolphin and Simon the shark, they were not sure that actually which animal's footprints are this. Let's see the next paragraph. Suddenly they heard something shuffling along the beach. Shuffling means walking slowly and noisily by dragging the feet. Like sometimes you all are walking in the school, especially the boys, right? Suddenly they heard something shuffling along the beach. Shuffling means walking slowly and noisily. They could almost see it now. They could almost see it now. It was getting closer and closer. It was getting closer and closer means it was coming near and 
near and then there it was and then there it was it was even stranger than anything they had thought of means it was out of their mind what they are thinking it was not actually like that it was something else right let's see they are coming at them getting nearer and nearer was a great big green alligator what was that it was a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and raggedy overalls raggedy means looking old and dirty overalls means a garment with trousers and straps over the shoulders and he was dancing who was dancing a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and raggedy overalls was dancing so now well they thought this was the funniest sight they thought this was the funniest sight that the big green alligator wearing a funny hat and raggedy overalls they had ever seen but then they heard music too after the see watching a big green alligator they have heard music too and the music was getting louder and louder the music was getting louder and louder and out of the corners of their eyes they saw oh it just couldn't be it just couldn't be now let's see what they have seen they are coming out of the swamp they are coming out of the swamp swamp means a wet land was a frog playing a banjo frog playing a banjo now my dear students do you remember what is the meaning of banjo i told you at the time of reading try to remember okay let me tell you a banjo is a musical instrument that looks like a guitar banjo means a musical instrument that looks like a guitar frog was playing a banjo and over there walking towards them up the beach was a raccoon playing a fiddle raccoon raccoon is the animal whose face is looks like a fox raccoon is an animal with a fox like face and fiddle means a violin fiddle means a violin so a raccoon was playing a fiddle and soon the three strange animals were right in front of simon and dudley which three animals were there let's see a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and a raggedy overalls the frog was playing a banjo the raccoon was playing a fiddle so these three strange animals so let's read this again there coming out of the swamp was a frog playing a banjo and over there walking towards them up the beach was a raccoon playing a fiddle and soon the three strange animals were right in front of simon and judy the frog strummed his banjo and raccoon fiddled his fiddle and the great green alligator danced and they were all having a wonderful time together strummed means what strummed means here in the lesson strummed means played the banjo by moving his fingers quickly along its strings what is the meaning of strummed strummed means here in the lesson played the banjo by moving his fingers quickly along its string and the raccoon fiddled his fiddle fiddled means played on the 
violin. Fiddled means played on the violin. And the great green alligator danced and they were all having a wonderful time. So let's see the next paragraph. Simon and Judley were flabbergasted. Simon and Judley were flabbergasted. What is the meaning of flabbergasted? Flabbergasted means surprised and shocked. Simon and Judley both were surprised and shocked. Judley clapped his flippers and Simon applauded with his fins. Applauded means praised by clapping. And Simon applauded with his fins. Applauded means praised by clapping. They thought they never had so much fun. They thought they had, they never had so much fun. The music and dancing lasted all afternoon. The music and dancing lasted all afternoon. The sun was beginning to set, means it was the time of a sunset, when the two musicians, which two musicians? Yes, raccoon and the frog. Raccoon and the frog, two musicians and the dancer. Dancer means a big green alligator. Dancer means a big green alligator. Musician means raccoon and frog. Dancer means a big green alligator. Started to go their separate ways. The frog went back to the swamp. The frog went back to the swamp. The raccoon trotted off down the beach. Trotted means walked quickly. Raccoon walked quickly down the beach and the alligator went into the rocks near the lighthouse. And alligator went into the rocks near the lighthouse. So, let me show you the picture. Here you can see. A big green alligator is dancing. Raccoon is playing. What raccoon is playing? Raccoon is playing a fiddle. Frog is playing a banjo. Frog is playing a banjo. Raccoon is playing a fiddle. And the big green alligator is dancing. And Judley the dolphin and Simon the shark both are watching this. Okay. So my dear students, we will do till here only today. So let's revise till here. We started our lesson from here. So let's revise. Okay. Once upon a time, there lived a shark named Simon and a dolphin named Dudley. They lived in the ocean, not too far from a beautiful sandy beach. A tall lighthouse and a dark murky swamp were there on the beach. Now, Simon and Judley knew each other, but they weren't the best of friends. Judley had two sisters and they played together and took care of each other. They were very happy in the cool blue water. But Simon swam alone he had no brothers or sisters and no one to play with. This made him grumpy. Grumpy means unhappy. And so he would spend his days swimming lazily, feeling sorry for himself. Means feeling sad for himself that he was alone. No brother or sisters to play with him. And just being mean. Mean means selfish. Only thinking about himself. Simon's favorite hobby was to attack Judley and his sisters. He would dive deep in the water, lurking near the bottom. Lurking means hide and waiting for attack. And then when he saw the dolphins playing near the surface, 
he would swim as hard as he could towards them and try to bite their tails. But the dolphins always saw him coming and they would come up out of the water, stand on their tails and whistle and giggle. They always managed to keep just out of reach of Simon's big sharp teeth. I don't think Simon really wanted to catch them, do you? Because if he caught them and ate them, he wouldn't have any fun anymore. But you never know about sharks. So Judley and his sisters were always on the lookout for Simon the Grum. Grum means, Grum means a person who complains a lot. A person who complains a lot. One day, while Judley was swimming by himself and Simon was chasing him, they got very close to the shore. Judley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him and they both saw something very strange on the beach. Their leading out of the swam were strange tracks in the sand. Judley stopped swimming and Simon stopped chasing. They had never seen marks like that before. I wonder if it was a duck-built platypus, said Judley. I don't think so, replied Simon. I will bet it was a red, bristed, hairy-headed knee walker. But since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often, they kept on wondering. They kept on thinking. They thought maybe it had been a big-bellied witted gobbler or perhaps a hooty snooty crawler. But they just weren't sure what had made those funny large footprints. So here the names of animals, duck-billed platypus, red-breasted hairy-headed knee walker, big-bellied widget gobbler, hooty snooty crawler. These four are only imaginative animals, not actual animals, okay? So, suddenly they heard something shuffling along the beach. Shuffling means walking slowly and noisily. They could almost see it now. It was getting closer and closer and then there it was. It was even stranger than anything they had thought of. There, coming at them, getting nearer and nearer was a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and a raggedy overalls. Raggedy means looking old and dirty. Overall means a garment with trousers and straps over the shoulders. And he was dancing. Well, they thought this was the funniest sight they had ever seen, but then they heard music too. And the music was getting louder and louder and out of the corners of their eyes they saw, oh, it just couldn't be. There coming out of the swamp was a frog playing a banjo. Banjo means a musical instrument that looks like a guitar. And over there, walking towards them up the beach was a raccoon. Raccoon means an animal with a fox-like face, playing a fiddle. Fiddle means a violin. And soon the three strange animals were right in front of Simon and Judley. The frog strummed his banjo. Strummed means played the banjo by moving his fingers quickly along its string. The raccoon fiddled his fiddle. Fiddled means played on the violin and the great green alligator danced and they were all having a wonderful time. Simon and Jude Lee were flabbergasted. Flabbergasted means surprised and shocked. Jude Lee clapped his flippers and Simon applauded with his fins. Fins mean Simon applauded with his fins. Applauded means praised by clapping. They thought they never had so much fun. The music and dancing lasted all afternoon. The sun was beginning to set when the two musicians and the dancers started to go their separate ways. The frog went back to the swamp, the raccoon trotted off down the beach and the alligator went into the rocks near the lighthouse. 
Trotted means walked quickly. Here you can see in the picture. So my dear students, today we will do till here only. Half part of explanation is still remaining as you all know. So we will meet in our next session with the remaining part with the remaining part of the lesson. So till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.